You too can become a UX designer without even having a degree in it. Hi, I'm Tiffany, and I'm currently a UX designer living in Silicon Valley. In this video, I'm going to share with you how exactly I became a UX designer without any background in design and how I was able to land a job in an era with the biggest tech companies of the world. First, I'm going to go over five main points in this video, and that's my background, getting UX certified, networking, applying for jobs, and how long it took exactly for me to get a job in UX design. For those of you who don't know what UX designers do, we basically design digital products that make it easy and intuitive for users to interact with. Think of apps like Spotify or Yelp. Behind those applications are people who created the interface to help you use it better. So I wanted to highlight the fact that I actually did not have any degree or background in UX design when I was studying in college. I actually started off studying biomedical engineering and then worked at a healthcare company after that. I think then that's when I realized I wasn't completely passionate about what I wanted to do and I always knew deep down that I wanted to do something more creative. I wanted to do something that had to do with design. I just didn't know exactly what it was. I found out about UX design from a friend that was actually studying it and when I heard about it I was like, oh, this is the job for me. It was creative, you got to use design skills, but it was also lots of research and data driven. It also pays pretty well so I can't lie about that. Getting UX certified. I want to touch on the fact that you actually don't need to have a UX degree or get UX certified in order to do that as your job. I found out about a really good online program called General Assembly and General Assembly actually offers two types of courses. They offer the full immersive in-person course and they also offer the online part-time course which is the one that I took. I thought this was perfect for me because I was still able to do a full-time job while studying UX part-time and on the side. This course was extremely beneficial to me because it allowed you to learn all the basic principles about it. It introduced you to some of the most common tools in UX design and you were also paired up with a mentor that you talk to every single week. So I highly recommend that General Assembly if you can if you're thinking about going into a UX design program. Networking with designers. So networking is a huge part, just job searching and being able to learn more. I reached out to three different UX designers before I applied for jobs and I thought that that was super duper helpful. I highly recommend trying to reach out to designers on LinkedIn or if you have any designer friends, you can always ask them, offer to give them some coffee or take them out to lunch. These were always super helpful for me because it helped me kind of get more of an understanding of the real world UX designer roles by just asking them questions. And also it was a great kind of bridge in case in the future you wanted help, they can kind of think of you in their head if they were to have any positions that opened up at their company. Applying for jobs. Now this is the most time consuming part and probably most stressful part of the entire process. When I applied for jobs, I looked a lot at LinkedIn to look at the roles that were open and I also looked at Indeed. I thought these are two different platforms that worked best for me because I got the most luck out of it. Part of applying is also building your own UX portfolio online. I put a lot of emphasis on building a portfolio because most of the time, this is a thing that employers like to look at. This is a thing that sets you apart from other designers. You're able to kind of show exactly your thought process, your design aesthetics, and you can really tell an advanced designer versus a beginner designer just based solely on their portfolio. So put a lot of time in that because it will pay off in the end. When you're applying for jobs, what I found really helpful for me was trying to find a way to bridge the gap of your current versus your new UX design role that you wanna do. So I was working at a healthcare company at the time and I applied for a UX design job for a healthcare company. And because we had that middle ground, I was able to cater it and use it in my cover letter to talk about how healthcare was a little gap between me trying to pursue a UX degree, even though I was doing something completely different, which was engineering. Overall, it took me about three months to land a UX design job. Sometimes it just takes lots of patience, a little bit of luck. You can get a job within 
one month, two months, three months, six months, however, it's different for each person. At the end though, it's totally worth it. I finally get to wake up to a job that I love to do and I get to work with some of the most talented designers, engineers, and most motivated people in the world and I wouldn't change it for anything. So if you're considering a UX job, then I highly recommend you checking it out. I did this and it was the biggest, most best decision of my life. So I have faith in you. I hope you do well. Good luck in your career. And if you have any questions for me, then please let me know. I'm Tiffany and I will see you in the next video.